A new report from the Inspector General shows that the State Department spent $630,000 on getting people to like them on Facebook. The department's advertising campaigns brought the number of likes on its four affiliated Facebook pages from 100,000 to 2 million. However, only 2% of the people that like the State Department's page is actively engaged, causing many critics to equate the department's budgetary decision to buying friends. To make matters worse, Facebook changed its rules last year, allowing pages that users have liked to show up in their news feeds only if the user actively engages in the site by sharing and commenting on the page's content. Now, Chinese net users, of course, are no strangers to the concept of buying friends online. Users of Sino Weibo often receive instant messages from companies offering to build their fan base for just a few dollars. So what do Chinese net users have to say about the State Department's advertising campaign? Well, over to Weibo and let's take a look. It's interesting that the State Department spent this money and then called itself out for spending it unwisely. On the one hand, it's good to see such checks and balances in the system. On the other hand, it makes it seem like the State Department doesn't have more important things to do. What a waste of taxpayers' money. The State Department should have outsourced this work to someone in China. On Sina Weibo, you can buy hundreds of friends for less than a dollar. Leave this type of work to those who can do it best. The Obama administration seems to be very focused on social media. I remember that during Obama's campaign period, he actively engaged in social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter. One way to think of advertising is that it is equivalent to buying fans, friends, or supporters. In a way, the Xinhua News Agency advertisement in Times Square is an attempt to buy fans. But China has more money to spend on these advertisements since we have not been so hit hard by the financial crisis. I just want to say that it appears that while some countries are learning to use the Internet, other countries focus on controlling the Internet. If China's state council ever opened a Weibo account, it would never have to worry about attracting followers. I'm sure the comments would number in the millions. Spending money on promotion is very different from outrightly buying fans. I've noticed that one difference between Chinese and American government's behavior on the Internet is that while the American government hopes to interact with more people through the Internet, the Chinese government avoids engaging with netizens. I don't understand why the State Department had to spend money on advertising. They could just get some of their employees to write a few blog posts and people would follow their Facebook page for sure. Well, it looks like the State Department and likely many other organizations are in need of developing an effective social media strategy. But it looks like they're going to have to develop a strategy on a minimum budget with the kind of press they've been getting.